Welcome to Schrodel TV. Here you can follow the key steps for maintaining your Schrodel valve, for long valve life and for your safety. Please pay attention to the danger and safety precautions in the maintenance and operating instructions for the product TDL. This can be found on our website in the form of a PDF file. By means of the nameplate on the valve, check to see whether you have the correct spare parts before removing the valve. You will need the type of valve and the correct K number. In the event that the nameplate is missing, the valve identification is stamped on the valve. During assembly, it is essential to use a new set of gaskets. The recommended spare parts are the set of gaskets and the complete bypass insert. In order to check the bypass, first of all, remove the flange connection. To do this, loosen the bolts and then remove the bypass branch sideways. With the aid of two suitable lever tools, carefully extract the bypass insert from the valve body. The lever tools are positioned opposite to each other on the shoulder of the control head. Now remove the bypass insert in order to examine it for possible functional impairments. Control the movability of the lever. Remove the pin. Now remove the lever. Then pull off the control bushing from the control head. Check the running surface of the control head for damage. Then examine the running surface of the control bushing. In the event of damage, the control head and the control bushing are generally replaced as a complete unit. Control the required movability of the bypass orifice and remove the bypass orifice from the bypass branch. Inspect the running surface for damage. Check the inner running surface in the bypass branch. If there is minor damage to the surfaces, you can regrind them in accordance with the maintenance instructions. These were the most important points for the inspection of the bypass. If you have detected severe damage, the complete bypass insert must be replaced so that the correct function of the valve and thus of your system can be guaranteed. It is always recommended to have a complete bypass insert in stock. Should that not be the case, please let us know the type of valve and the K number so that we can supply you with the correct spare part. The order number of the valve and the label on the bypass spare part must always correspond. As a next step, the upper body must be removed. Extract all but two opposing bolt connections. Please observe the spring tension. Secure the upper body with clamping elements and release the remaining two bolts. Smaller valves can be secured easily by hand. Now lift off the upper body. First remove the spring from the check valve and then examine it for any possible fractures. Now pull out the check valve and examine the seating surface. Then also inspect the guiding surfaces of the check valve at the top and bottom as well as inside the housing. They must not show any signs of damage. If these surfaces show signs of minor damage, then they can be reground in accordance with the maintenance instructions. If they are severely damaged, they must be replaced. Please contact us in this case. If you're using a valve with a Venturi ring, remove the ring and check the inner and outer surfaces for notches, scratches or other damage. When the maintenance work is completed, assembly can begin. Take utmost care for cleanliness and make sure to install new gaskets. When installing EPDM gaskets, please do not use mineral oils and fats, but rather a silicon oil or a simple soap solution. 
assembly takes place in reverse order. First, install the new gaskets, then the check valve with the spring. Check that the lever function is guaranteed. Insert the bypass. Please pay attention to the position of the control head. The lever must be inserted into the eyelet of the check valve with the groove facing upwards. Before assembling the flange, it is essential to control the free movement of the bypass orifice. Then connect the flange. Pay attention to the alignment of the pin groove and to the corresponding recess in the flange. Now affix the upper body and pay attention to the bore holes. Then tighten the bolts. As a part of the final inspection, check all bolted connections. The functional test of the valve is done together with the pump. Your Schrodel valve is now ready for long-term operation. If you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you.